Hey everybody, it's Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about how to upload photos so that you can send them out via email much easier than having to send out individual emails. So to do this, what you're going to do is let's go ahead and we're going to open up Google. Once you're in Google, what you want to do is go ahead and go to 7-Zip. And 7-Zip is a zip utility that will allow you to zip files. If you've already got something, you can just go ahead and ignore this step. But basically what we want to do is zip up the files that we have. So you'll come to 7-Zip. You'll notice here you've got download exe a 32-bit or 64. Most people are just going to click this first link. Go ahead and click download, install the application. Once you've got 7-Zip installed, it's pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to go into this pictures folder I've got created. Now you'll notice I've got eh, maybe seven or eight uh, photos here, and they vary in size. Depending upon your email provider, you'll be able to send them or not. But instead of uploading multiple photos and sending multiple emails, and it'd be kind of, kind of a pain, an easier way to do this is just go ahead and highlight all these. We're going to right-click. Again, on mine, it's going to say 7-Zip. On yours, it might say something else if you've got a different utility. But I'm going to say Add to Archive. Now what you'll notice is the archive format, the only thing you need to be real careful about is that this says Zip. You'll notice there's some other options, but zip's the most compatible. I'm going to go ahead and leave it called pictures.zip, and I'm going to click OK. should be pretty quick. You'll notice now I've got a single file that's 16 megs big that's a, uh, basically all these files included. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to go to a website called File Saver, which is filesaversavr.com. And once you get here, you don't have to sign up. You don't have to log in. don't have to do any of that. We're going to go ahead and click Upload. I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to go to my pictures folder, I'm going to go to the pictures.zip, and you're going to notice right here it's going to tell us we're loading. So let's go ahead and let this finish. Okay, as you can see, just about done. Okay, we're finished. Now we're going to know it's done because now we're going to see where we've got a download file link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click on this URL. This is what I'm actually going to send to people when I want to distribute these photos. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say copy. Now just so you know, when people get the link, they're going to click download this file. They're going to enter in the code they see, so M32K, and they're going to click download. It's going to pop up. It's going to give them the pictures. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into here. I'm going to hop into my Gmail or whatever email client you have. And all I'm going to do is compose mail. I'll send it to Bree. I'll say, here are some pictures. Let's try R. I'm going to paste that link. I'm going to send it off. When she receives it, she'll click the link and download the photos. So you can see it's very, very easy. Uh, the file can be huge. It's up to 10 gigabytes. So you can do all your pictures all at one time. Obviously, remember, if you've got a lot of pictures, it may take a while to upload, depending upon your upload speed. But this will save you from having to send multiple emails. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks.